Hello, I'm a mid six figure Amazon seller, and in these next five minutes, I'm going to see if we can find any profitable products using Top Cash Back as our starting point for sourcing. So let's get right into it. So, right here, we're in Top Cash Back. You can see that I'm an avid user of Top Cash Back, but the real reason why we're going to start on Top Cash Back is we're going to look at the offers and see if any site has some crazy cash back and then try to find the item profitable. So it looks like Adidas has 11% back, pretty cool. So I guess we can start trying to shop on Adidas, see if there's anything else that looks out of the ordinary. So really what I'm looking for right now is a site that has pretty good cash back. Um, so it will make finding products on that site a lot easier. So we have Adidas and then we have Nike.com. Maybe we should just source Nike.com actually. Uh, so you might just say, you might just say like, wow, why, why does it, why is this even a top cashback video, right? Because we're just going directly to Nike.com. But really, I, I see a lot of beginners is they have an, an issue with starting points. So I think it's really easy to find products if you have a great starting point. So that's why I started with top cashback because really what I'm trying to do here is find a great starting point to start trying to find profitable products. So any of these could be really great size, uh, site to source, but I like focusing on sites with higher cash back because it makes it easier to find profitable products. Uh, so let's go to the sales section of nike.com, see if we can find anything good. So let's see, 40% off. Okay, I guess we're already there. Let's go to shoes, see if we can see anything pretty good. Uh, we got these blazers right off the bat. Those are probably pretty good. We'll go to the red ones. Uh, these mids look insanely cheap too, or these lows, my bad, Jordan, the sneaker heads are going to kill me, the Jordan 1 lows looking pretty good, uh, see those, so I'm just kind of clicking to see if we can find anything pretty cool, uh, this is probably a really good shoe too, so we opened up a few tabs here, so if you guys didn't know, Nike is an online arbitrageable brand, so this is a brand that you can sell on Amazon for a pretty hefty price because they're because Nike the brand itself doesn't sell on Amazon uh, so just right off the bat right off the rip we got this blazer and let's see if any okay they have a full-size run of these awesome so let's see if we can find anything profitable in here uh, it looks like a ton of people are hopping on this so this is not what I like to see where the offer counts going up but let's see if it's still profitable at all so 78 bucks, not really gonna be profitable on that size. Uh, we'll just move this over. Not really gonna be profitable on that size. Let's see which other sizes there are. So it looks like size 10. Uh, this is a woman's shoe, so size 10 and woman's is gonna be kinda finicky. Uh, somebody did sell this for 122 in the past. Uh, my bad, I gotta put that in sale price. And then we're getting this 122. And then we're getting this for 78 bucks So a little 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 a uh, little bit of money there, but we can see that it actually did sell at that $122 price point because the price went up so somebody did sell out there because uh, You know the, the price did go up So that's telling me that the person that was priced at that did sell out and then the price jumped up or uh, It looks like BK actually did reprice there so maybe that is not true. Um, let's see here. Let's go into the data and the offers tab and let's see if anybody did sell at that price. Yeah, so okay, it does look like somebody did sell at kind of that one uh, $122 price point. This guy sold for 119 uh, and you can see that there because his stock was two and then went down to one. So that lets me know he, that he did sell one. So if we do this for, 119 uh, he made about 14 bucks there that's pretty cool but he's going to be getting an additional eight percent cash back on top of that purchase because he's buying from nike.com using the top cash back extension this is why i talk about like cash back extensions are so useful because it really makes think you know buying and selling these products just that much more profitable so we can make a little bit of money there so uh, we found one profitable product right off the bat uh, let's see. So this looks like it's not really in stock on Amazon, but we can just copy. So all, all I'm doing is so I'm copying the style code and then putting it into Amazon.com. 
Uh, let me just pull this up, amazon.com. Uh, I guess I'll just put it here, or I can uh, we'll do it like this. I lost my tab, so this looks like it's not the same product, but we're getting in the right direction. So maybe this one's not on Amazon. Not seeing it here. I put the style code there. So maybe it's somewhere here in the, the either on Amazon on a split listing, but we're just going to move on since we have very limited time to do this. Uh, we got Nike. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but we're going to get that style code and we're going to put this into Amazon and see what's up. All right, we did find the shoe. Pretty cool. All right, let's see. You can find it profitably at size 11. Size 11's in stock, all right, that's a good sign. 110, this is what we like to see. What I really like to see is like the sale price is roughly double of the price that you're getting it at. at. And uh, this definitely uh, almost meets that criteria. So this might actually be a pretty good shoe to buy and sell. Let's see, and include historical offers. Wow, this is selling a pretty good amount. Somebody did, wow, that's insane. Somebody actually sold this for 159 bucks, which is pretty crazy. Just based off of that offer right there, uh, you can see it had that high price point and then that stock drip, uh, dropped off, pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else they got. So I would say it's pretty safe to assume that you'd be able to sell for at least that price and we're getting it for 68, 68 bucks make about $16 there, but, but the cash back on top of that. So where are we at? Oh, we're at six minutes already. Uh, we did find some profitable products in this video. Pretty cool. But I just thought I'd make this, you know, make this quick little video showing you guys that it's not always that you should start at nike.com and just source. You can start at a cash back extension like top cash back, see who's paying out a fat amount of cash back and then try to source off of that. So I thought that was a pretty cool tip for today. If you guys like these videos and want me to make more of these videos, definitely let me know. Um, really appreciate it. <laughs>